ball is effective with other areas such as the shoulder. In the areas you're looking at is the front part of the shoulder, the back part, and the area between the shoulder blade and the spine. With the front, you can apply pressure along the front part of the arm, the bicep in particular, and the deltoid. In the back, there's the rotator cuff, and then on the other side, the shoulder blade and the spine is the rhomboids, and the top is the trapezius. With the shoulder, to get the front part of the shoulder blade, you go into a door jam or the side of the, the corner of the wall. Take the ball and lean into the front part, like I said, the bicep. When you find a sore spot, hold it, breathe in and out for about a minute, and then move on down the side of the arm. Then you can go to the side of the arm when you're getting part of the deltoid, and again, lift and hold until you find a sore spot. When you find it, hold it, breathe in and out. Then you can get to the back of the shoulder, which is the rotator cuff, Put it around the arm crease, then you can lean into it, lift and hold until you find a sore spot. When you find it, hold and breathe in. Then you can get to the, the, between the shoulder blade and the spine, bring your arm out, roll up and down until you find a sore spot. And then the final part is the front part or top of your shoulder. And that's the trapezius, and that's the most difficult. But you can take the, the top, and lean into, let your arm drop. And there's not much area there, but once you find a sore spot, breathe in and out and hold. Please, if you like these videos, drop a like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you can visit our website at oakhillfamilyhealth.com. Thank you.